And now let's take a look at the week's weather with Stephen Q. What have you got for us today, Stephen? Thank you, Steve. Someone asked me today, Stephen, if you could be anywhere in the world, where would you like to be? And I said to him, probably right here. Elko, Nevada. Our nation's high at 79 today. Out in California, they're going to have some warm weather tomorrow, some gang wars, and some very overpriced real estate. Up in the Pacific Northwest, as you can see, they're going to have some very, very tall trees. Going to be clear across the Rockies and the Great Plains mostly, but look out, here comes trouble. Oh boy! Front coming our way, so look out. What's that going to mean for us here in the Three Rivers area? One of these big blue things. This cold, frigid, arctic air, this big mass coming out of the north. It's going to meet up with all this moisture coming up out of the Gulf. It's going to mix together at high altitudes and cause some snow. Going out on a limb now, not going to hit us here in Pittsburgh, going to push off and hit Altoona. Close call, folks. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the five day. As you can see, nothing to be too scared about. Bundle up warm, of course, but I think you can leave your galoshes at home. I'm not going to be here for the 10 o'clock. Tomorrow is Groundhog Day, and I'm going out to Punxsutawney for our country's oldest groundhog festival. So, as you know, according to the legend, tomorrow, February 2nd, if the groundhog wakes and sees a shadow, we've got six more weeks of winter to look forward to. So keep your fingers crossed. Sounds like a lot of fun. You must really enjoy yourself. This is your third year in a row, isn't it, Stephen? Four, Steve. Four. Thanks, Stephen. Up next, entertainment editor Diane Kingman looks at sex and violence in the movies. Stay with us.